how to deploy the mobility router using the OVA, the virtual mobility. So what I got here is my vSphere client. I'm going to go down to File, Deploy, deploy OVF Templates. Not OVA, but OVF. I'm going to browse to my data store, which actually I have here um, on my desktop, or I can just open up uh, from, I'll just do it from my desktop. So I'll browse to it. There's the file under my downloads. I hit next. Um, basically, I'm going to leave the default settings. Hit next. I'll leave the name for now, mobile router VM. Hit next. I'll choose which data store that I want it on. I'll do it on my free willy. And I'll hit next. And it will auto-provision the size. I can choose the network that I want this to be on. Okay, we'll just choose the demo network. There's two NICs that actually get provisioned with this, so that you'll have to possibly go back and change it or add another network to it. Next. And then we're going to power on after deployment, and we're going to hit finish. And we're going to let this go. And I'm just going to pause till this thing uh, starts or finishes deploying. Okay, once we have the, um, the file deployed properly and you go to your console, you're going to see this. The first of all is going to be the login. So to log in, we're going to type admin. Admin. It's going to ask you some default startup questions. EULA, yes. We'll use the, uh, the wizard, yes. Change the host name. We'll just call this mobile router VM. Use DHCP on ETH0. There's two interfaces, ETH0, which is the internal, which is most likely, uh, well, not most likely, probably going to be on your voice network, so your VLAN for voice. So I'm going to type yes. The admin password, we're just going to leave that. Monitor password, we're going to leave that. And then it's basically confirm it. I'm going to hit enter. And now it's launching the command line interface. And what I should find is if I go to um, my web browser, I should be able to have access to it. Now, I can do it from here, but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go enable. And I'm going to go show IP or uh, show interfaces. Show interfaces, and you can see that my interface is getting... DHCP of 10.990.222. So what I should be able to do now is go into a web browser. .222. There we go. I just hit enter. It's going to go into the user, but I'm going to actually switch this to HTTPS, and I'm going to go admin. Should prompt me for the login. Advanced, proceed. Login, I'm going to type admin and hit enter. And this should log me in directly into the mobility router. Okay, so the mobility router has come up and I'll just expand this page. And this is the main interface of the mobility router. So now I can go into things like System on the left hand side, go into my interfaces. I can see that I have nothing for my ETH1 and it's down. The ETH1 is the actual public interface. It can be configured in one of two ways. You can either have it configured to point to the external. Um, so you've got a mapping of, for instance, a public IP address, uh, say in your DMZ. Or what you can do is you can have a private IP address, which could be, for instance, on your data network. And then at your firewall, you're going to uh, port map 443 to that address, that ETH1 address. So just go into configuration, and I'll go into system here, and I'll go into my interface, and I'm going to say, let's enable this. We're not going to use DHCP, we're going to use static, so we're going to say, I'm going to make this uh, 192.168.4.199, and we're going to make it a 24-bit subnet mask. Gateway is 192.168. 168.4.1, enable, apply. Okay, so I set the external or ETH1 interface to 192.168.4.199, but when I go into my mobility router, I'm sort of getting no response. I can see here that I get no response to that address. 
So remember, there's two Nick cards. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go in. Go into the host here. Come on. All right. And I'm going to probably stop this virtual machine. And I go back and edit my settings. And what I'm going to find here is that both my network adapters are on the same network. So for my ETH1 and ETH2, so what ETH0 and ETH1, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my ETH1 to the wide area network here, which is the internal network. And I'm going to restart this console and I'll power it up, see what's going on here. Okay, as it reboots, you now see that I have a I have a response from that interface. So what I can do now here is now that it's logged in, I now have a, I have both interfaces, and it all became because I didn't change the NIC uh, adapter on that that interface. And just so that you remember here, we go into the actual mobility router VM, we edit settings, and what I do is on my network adapter, that's going to be my ETH zero, and this is going to be my ETH one address. Okay. And that's it. Now it's online and now you can start programming.